हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल फोर्टी मैनेजर ऑन ईवेंजी सो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डाउनलोड फोर्टी मैनेजर क्यू कॉट फाइल ईयर सो यू कैन सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोड फोर्टी मैनेजर के वी एम क्यू कॉट टू फाइल ईयर ओके एफ एम जी डॉट क्यू कॉट फोर्टी मैनेजर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डाउनलोड ईयर देन वी कैन इंस्टॉल इट ओके so let's install on evng so friends you can see i have installed evng on vmware then i will access this evng via ssh you can see i have access evng with via ssh okay now we have to create folder okay on the directory just create directory here mkdir slash op unit lab add on Kimu, okay. Now, directory name, Fortinet, Fortinet FMG, V7. Now click enter. So we can see we have created directory CD. Let's opt unit lab. Add on Kimu, okay. Alas, we have created directory. Now, friends, we will upload this QCO2 file in this folder directory, okay, via FTP server, okay. So you can see this is my file dealer. So let's log in, evng here, evng IP address one two hundred dot eighty five root password evng password. Port twenty two. Now click on connect. So now you can see here opt. Go to this path unit lab. Add on kimu fmg this folder. So you can see this is blank. Now we'll move file. So you can see fmg kiko to file. Now we'll move to this folder. Okay. So now you can see. file is moving let it copy complete so you can see we have copied successfully now go to cli now check file is there or not so you can see we now we have a file in this directory okay now We'll move this file fmg dot q cow to to whatever way dot q cow to now enter ls so now you can see we have renamed this move this file to whatever q cow to now friends will create second hdd hundred gb drive. For what work you got to slash opt q new slash bin emu dash img create a hyphen f q cow to or what work we We go to 100 GB. Okay. Press Enter. Now you see it is created here. Now we have to fix permission. Now fix permission. Now it's done. Now let's log into Evng GUI. So you can see this is my 40 manager lab here. Okay. So what I can do? Yes, I will add here a node. Okay, let's check forty manager is there or not. Successfully installed or not? Then go to forty forty net here. You will see forty forty net. Click here now. FMG. You can see FMG and forty net. So we have to select FMG. So now we have to increase RAM for FMG. Okay. CPU will be two. Now click on save. 
now friends you have to make connectivity with our with our local network okay so we can add here this interface we can add here okay port one so it will connect with my local and you can see this way 14.8.1 14.8.2 but you get firewall after installation 40 manager will add both firewall on 40 manager okay so let's change the name here 40 manager from g okay now click start here now friends you can see it's booting up okay now you can see login prompted here so now just admin type in new password so let's check ip of port 1 so system interface port 1 so friends you can see port 1 ip 192.168.1.19 but my network is but my network is 100.0 okay so we'll provide ip with same network set ip 192.168.100 sorry now go to config system interface config system interface port 1 edit port 1 okay ip 192.168.1.19 100 dot 99 submit mask 255 dot 255 dot zero set allow access HTTPS SSH HTTP and ping okay now end so now friends let's access Via browser 192 168 100.99. Now you can see. Now let's click on advance and click on accept. Now login with your account ID. Okay. Now, friends, here you can log in with your personal ID with Fortinet support portal to activate it. To activate this, okay, filter. So I have already registered this ID, okay, with Forti Cloud. So I can log in here. Now just accept its term and condition. Now click on accept. Then it connecting to. Now it's connecting to Forti Cloud, okay. It will not connect there is a region so you can see can't resolve host name okay so what we have to do just we have to set dns ip here okay now we have to configure dns ip config system dns okay dns dns okay set primary Primary 192.168.1.100.1 set secondary 8.8.8.8 and now we have to configure route here config system route towards internet okay default gateway so edit one route one set device port 1 okay set gateway 192.168.100.1 now just end to save so now we can check connectivity with dns google dns ping 8.8.8.8 now you can see we are able to ping now now friends again click here login with forty cloud to register accept terminal condition accept here so let's check it should connect with particular now you can see successfully 
logged into Proti Cloud, the system is starting to apply the trial license. Please wait for a moment. Now, Proti Manager is starting to apply that license. Okay. Okay, let's check if uh, it's restarted. Okay, now you can see we have a serial number this of Proti Manager. Okay. Now we can log in here. Okay, just now, friends, just refresh it. Now we can log in with user ID and password. Now you can see it registered with SSO with Photogear. You can change password, change password done. We can set time zone, set host name. Okay, now click begin. Time zone, it will tell Okay. We can do later or next year. Host name is okay. Set a complete finish. So you can see this is my 40 manager. This is device manager and this is 40 manager settings, policy and objects. Okay. So we need to go device manager. Let's see how to add. So friend, multiple way to add Fortigate firewall with Forti Manager, device manager, go to add, click on add here. Okay. Now discover device. Click here. Provide IP address of Fortigate firewall. So my Fortigate firewall IP is 100.100. 192.168.100.100. Use legacy device login. Username and password of Fortigate firewall. Now click on next. So print connectivity from 40 manager to 40 get firewall should be allowed. Okay, you can see prop failed here. So what could be the region? Region is from this on this interface, management interface. This option should be allowed. 40 FMG access. Okay, now click on okay. Okay. Now again go to back, then click on next. Then you can see it will override. Now click on next here. Now you can see it discovered here, initializing the configuration database. Now it's adding to the 40 manager. So friends, you can see device successfully added here. Now click here to import policy. We can import policy here. Now click on next. Now it's importing the policy, independent objects, all policy three, port two. Okay, now click on next. Now friends, you can see there is a conflict, view conflict, some conflict with 40 manager and 40 gate. So we'll use value from 40 gate. Okay. Now click on next. Click on next here. So it's updating existing 40 manager objects. You can see updating here. Now click on next. So you can see firewall address, firewall policy, profile. Click on finish. So now you can see policy package is there, synchronized. Okay. So let's see policy, policies. On my firewall so you can see there are two policies there okay it's successfully imported here okay so friends in this video we have seen how to install 40 manager on evng and how to add 40 get firewall to 40 manager so friends in next video we'll see how to create add-on and how to move firewall to add-on okay how to create policy and install policy from 40 manager to 40 get firewall okay so in this video so thanks for watching this video have a nice day